My prediction um, is that it will, uh, and it is my hope that it will do so during the course of my uh, lifetime as a as a as a respirologist. The and and but. In order for us to do that, we do need more publications. We do need more normative values uh, to, to be published and to, to become known. I, I can tell you, I mean, you know, thank you for that introduction, uh, but you know, we, we've been doing a number of other studies looking at different patient populations who are not long term farm patients. And um, it is certainly our hope and our theory that oscillometry identifies disease much earlier. There, there have been a number of publications that have really shown this. Um, and, and because of the way that, uh, because oscillometry is easy to do, um, and because some of the devices um, are small and portable, you can take those into work sites and you can take those to different areas so that people don't really need to come into a, a only functional laboratory uh, you don't really need the, the, the skill sets of a well-trained technician to do spirometry. Mm -hmm.